here in the summer split. Now, the two players that are tied for first in MVP are two top laners, Rascal and Summit. They only have two more MVPs than Life, who you mentioned, is in the running here for Rookie of the Split, or of the year, rather. This guy is really on fire. It's something I would love, because I thought game number one, Dove, was a super passenger, and he ramps up the aggression. He's going to pick an assassin into the Talia, and it's going to be the LeBlanc this time. I like that one. I, I'm not a huge fan of the just default to zero when you're just, okay, we might just farm this one out. Let's try to go to late game and make the Azir happen. There's Who always see? next levels available. Is, here we go, level six for Dove. Dove has been landing all these oh. chains, but a fantastic yeah. read by Fly. He's been looking for that one. We've seen that two or three times already. Finally lands. They've got a good out. chance to make it to Worlds. Do you think that uh, Long going to have to hold that thought as no Black Shield come in and Joker is dead? See you later. Very clean from Peanut. That's going to be first blood at the bottom. I mean, moments like that that we just Onto saw. The objective. Summit might be caught. Top side. Oh, he is so caught here. The stun is going to be followed up by QB, and that's going to do it. Two on one. Another great gang timing from the side of Peanut. And that's what we're talking about. The get away from harm's way. As QB, though, is going to get the slow here on a summit. There's that stun. The flash. Teleport comes in, but they want to get the kill here on the Karma first. Now let's see what Sandbox can do. As Slicing Maelstrom, save for the perfect time. They're going to win this fight for now. As on fleet, desperately trying to take down the Cannon, but he can't, and Gen G already gets three kills, and they're looking for more. As Joker's getting low, they get a fourth one on the backside, as Dove will be the only surviving member of Sandbox. Gen G is smurfing on Sandbox in this game. They might have been around fifth to seventh, but they are making Sandbox look silly. The next levels and their understanding of those skirmishes into fight was something that Sandbox just were not on the same wave and thought they weren't even close. Genji are rolling over first place sandbox gaming. And it really is that demolition of a game. I mean, they're going to take down that bottom turret. They're going to try to get Shelly here and perhaps even get some plates with it. We'll see if they go immediately to the top lane. Oh, I'd love to watch the reactions of the coaches. Yeah, I'd be craig as him if I'm the Gen G coach. Because watch this play, and it's very much Gen G saying, get the hell out of my game. First summit goes down, that's understandable. Kube never uses ult at the start there. He sees the TP ward and he says, okay, we're coming into me, are we? They take the kills on that side. And meanwhile, Sandbox are just absolutely trying to make any level of salvage, but just a kill from morale around the side. The fourth kill goes down. They chase out Dove as well. I don't think there's going to be too much exclaiming here, but this is the moment, honestly, that it feels like Gen G won the two. We got no one item on Summit. He's going for more expensive, but he might just get solo killed. I think this is going to happen here too. Summit, no summoners, oh. and at least we'll get the roots just barely there at the end. So we'll deny a kill onto Cuvee, but it doesn't look good that if every time you get close to the cannon, you're nearly dying. We got boots to zeal and dagger advantage over the enemy Varus. As Talia lying in wait here, they're ahead of this play as well. Here comes Talia, Kiwi's flashing into that one. Not sure about that, as maybe a little bit overconfident this time around. Talia, not gonna do a great job against these two, but here comes the rest of Genji. A little bit late to the party, so that will be one mark on their record. As they Can they even get those groupings off? Well, because right now they're getting picked around the map. Summit does not have his flash, and you can see that Peanut does not even have to yeah. use Impale. Just gonna wrap all the way around. You see his, uh, you know, they got Vision in there, but not actually Dr. around. Brocks were never going to come in. This was for laning phases. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, Ignite actually ticking down as Summit's going to die again. Uh, didn't have to even guess on that one as Olaf oh. is going to go down. Ruler just stomping forward, saying, this is my turf. Get out of here. This is not your river. That's a double kill and three and zero now to Ruler. They are going to win this game with a plum, Valdez. We're going for YouTube highlights already and trying to Pad the stats, 10 to 2, the Baron buff, 8,000 gold lead almost. It's going to be 8,000 real soon. Sandbox, they don't have any unsealed spell books, and they ain't got no smite. So goodbye, Baron, straight off spawn. We'll see what Dove and Ghost can do. Well, perhaps with their to forces pray. combined, <laughs> they can hope that Jim G make a mistake with that many sticks in the Baron. Let's see when they do this here. Try to go for that one. It's a smite. That would have been very embarrassing. They're going to be fine. 
Here's a replay. Turns out Flash was up, so Karma was dead. Yeah, Karma didn't have the Flash the last time, didn't have it this time. As Fly was backing. I assume this didn't kill Bash, didn't see. Well, he did not get the follow up here as Dove. You can see they're looking for that damage as trying to hang around the back here. Not sure about that one. Life going to be thrown forward. And look at Ruler just frontlining as Joker desperately trying to help, but he can't do anything. And they're just going to grab uh, the Karma on the backside. Dove not in position to do anything. No friends indeed as now they're all dead. As Gen T is pushing in for the victory. This one could be a lot sooner than game number one. And Ruler's just trying to make Callista a ruler champ just like the other ones, frontlining, knowing exactly how strong he is. And it's gonna slam down time. This could be the fastest game of the split. Uh, it's gonna be a big one for sure. A very fast game. We'll go the way of Gen T here. 23 minutes, Dumb. Looking for another kill. He's gonna be three and zero by the end of this game, but they just got killed two to zero. And props to Gen G coming up big. They continue their streak in a big way, taking out the first place, Sandbox Gaming. And it is the fastest game of LCK Summer, not by too much, dunked by Gen G in game number two. And we wondered whether they could pay forward what they did last week. They say, don't care about your analysis, we're just doing our thing. Right now, their thing is pretty damn scary, Valdez. Very impressive performance, and what it means, because it's multiple layers to the victory here for the side of Gen G. They integrate their jungler way better than they have in the past individual.